Hello and welcome dear friends. Thank you for joining me today. So uh, what I want to talk about is um, about unattended desktop flows in Power Automate desktop. And uh, basically I want to talk a little bit in general about what unattended flow is, uh, what kind of connection to the machine is needed and how can we schedule or trigger those unattended flows. So let's start with the basics. Basically, if we run a desktop flow in unattended mode, as you see here, right? There are three things that you have to follow. Basically, all users, they have to be signed out. Locked screen should be on, on the machine and a gateway with the user sign information uh, is needed. Uh, there is another option with a um, direct connection to the machine. It's still in preview or another option, you just use this uh, on-premises gateway. And of course, there is a general Microsoft document that you can follow if you do this link, which you see here uh, with, you know, step-by-step -step tutorial. Uh, but um, I just wanted to show you how it looks like and to run a small test. For that, I created a virtual machine, right? And uh, on this virtual machine, I already have a, um, a small, uh, power automate uh, flow it's a very very simple one so if we have a look at it you see the actions which i have here is to run application which is a command line application right then i do a couple of um, clicks in a text um, within this powershell or command line window and uh, the uh, this commands that I use it's a net uh, and then uh, start and then export to services CSV so basically this flow it just uh, creates a file of wall services which are running on this machine and puts them into services CSV file on the desktop that's all and then it stops right so let's see how it looks like if I just uh, trigger it you know uh, f locally from this machine so I click run it opens the command line window now it does something right the file is placed successfully on the screen so that's it right very simple flow so then let's try to run it in unattended mode as I mentioned before the user have to be completely signed out So I sign out from this machine, I go to my user and sign out. Now I go to the other machine where I have, um, you know, this uh, management, the, the flow environment is open and I already have it created. You see, I have a scheduled flow, which is called start unattended. And basically what happens here, if I click on this flow, uh, it's like a two-step process. First, you select a schedule, and then uh, this is an action which we do to run a flow um, built in with Power Automate Desktop. So basically, in my case, I have it scheduled once per day, and then this cloud flow has only one action, which is called run a flow built with Power Automate Desktop. Let me show you what I mean. So if I click here on create, right, there are different types of flows that you can use. And if you want to schedule it uh, based on time, what you can do is just to run the scheduled cloud flow, right? Then you select the frequency, frequency and it should be based on your, uh, you know, plan. Because for some plans, uh, you can have only the minimum frequency of 15 minutes or more. Then when I click create, so basically this is the trigger, the reoccurrence. And then as a next step, I just go desktop flows here. And you see there is an option to run a flow built in with Power Automate desktop. Then I select, I uh, see target gateway is not available. It's okay. I select my flow here 
then I select the mode in which to run, right? Unattended, it means that all users have to be signed out and you have to have a special license. And then under advanced options, you see I can also select priority for the flow. So let me put it as a high. And one more point which is important is to have a connection. So basically uh, under connections, you see here I have a couple of different ones. And this connection is a, a example of a working connection which is already created. And if you want to create a new connection, you just put, um, uh, you know, new connection. Then you select how you connect, either using on-premises data gateway or directly to the machine, which is still in preview. And I'm going to do this option directly to the machine. Then I put the machine name, which was already, I have it here. Then here I have to put the username, but if you connect even with a local user, you have to put uh, the machine name and then backslash user name. And then the password, right? And basically it creates a new connection. Uh, there is a verification step. If the connection works properly, then you would be fine. Um, I'm not going to create one because I already have one created, but you get an idea, right? And uh, so basically running this Power Automate desktop, it's like an action step within your Cloudflow, right? Okay, uh, so let me go back and we are going to actually have a try. If I go back to my flows here on my flows page, I see the start unattended flow, right? Uh, you see, I have a some success, some failures here as I did some tests. So let me click on edit just to run a test and test. Right, I do manual test, save and test, and then I run it. Yeah. The run should be done, you know, from the experience for this flow, it took me about uh, 30, 40 seconds to run it. So let's give it a little bit of time and see how it runs and while we're waiting i show you one more document that you can follow uh, there is a tutorial from microsoft which is called run a power automate desktop flow in unattended mode and um, basically you can start this tutorial and use it uh, then let's see our flow ran successfully and um, it took 31 seconds to complete okay so let's have a look at the result and log in to that uh, machine so let me connect to the machine Now I'm connecting to this remote machine which was used in order to test the flow. Right, you see I have the services file here, which is a good sign. So basically my flow ran and it generated this services file. And yeah, that's it. That's it. That's how you do it in a unattended mode. Of course, it depends on your use case how complex it is but the main thing to remember is to uh, sign out uh, you know your user have to be signed out because if I run it uh, as when a user sign in you get an error um, something like you know for unattended mode everyone has to be signed out and that's it right it just does what it's supposed to do so thank you for joining me today thank you for watching uh, have a great day if you have some questions comments just put it down in the comments i'll try to reply to them soon and happy learning and uh, stay healthy bye bye